Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today is the last chapter of Numbers. And so means that this will be the last Bible chapter for 2013. However, if you've been following the Advent Calendar, then please don't worry, as I will be uploading special Advent Calendar videos under the bonus video section of the website. Talking of which, shall we open today's door? Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 and 2 reads, The Lord Yahweh's Spirit is on me, because Yahweh has anointed me to preach good news to the humble. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release those who are bound, to proclaim the year of Yahweh's favour, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all in mourn. Read in Numbers chapter 36 today, and let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 36. The heads of the father's households, of the family of the children of Gilead, the son of Micah, the son of Manasseh, of the families of the sons of Joseph, came there and spoke before Moses, and before the princes, the heads of the father's households, of the children of Israel. They said, Yahweh commanded my Lord to give the land for her inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. My Lord was commanded by Yahweh to give the inheritance of Zelophehad, our brother, to his daughters. If they are married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then their inheritance will be taken away from the inheritance of our fathers, and will be added to the inheritance of the tribe to which they shall belong. It will be taken away from the lot of our inheritance. When the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be, then their inheritance will be added to the inheritance of the tribe to which they shall belong. So their inheritance will be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. Moses commanded the children of Israel, according to Yahweh's word, saying, The tribe of the sons of Joseph speaks right. This is the thing which Yahweh commanded concerning the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, Let them be married to whom they think best. Only they shall marry into the family of the tribe of their father. So shall no inheritance of the children of Israel move from tribe to tribe. For the children of Israel shall all keep the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. Every daughter who possesses an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife to one of the family of the tribe of her father, that the children of Israel may each possess the inheritance of his fathers. So shall no inheritance move from one tribe to another tribe, for the tribes of the children of Israel shall each keep his own inheritance. The daughters of Zelophehad did as Yahweh commanded Moses. For Mala, Terza, Hagla, Mocha, and Noah, the daughters of Zelophehad were married to their uncle's sons. They were married into the families of the sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. Their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. These are the commandments and the traditions which Yahweh commanded by Moses to the children of Israel, in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan at Jericho.